Hey, it's Cody. I'm here a couple days late um, to show you the books and decks that I'm going to be working with for the month of May. Yes, I have a horrible band-aid on my finger. Um, I like broke my nail and then I like bit it way the fuck down because I'm just like that. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's taking a minor con inconvenience and turning it into like a larger issue. So that's why I've got that. And I'm sorry that you have to look at it. All right, so uh, I'm going to start out with books. The first book is The Flowering Wand by Sophie Strand. Um, I realized that I was incorrect in saying that this was um, Clark Strand's wife. Um, the guy who wrote uh, The Way of the Rose, if you know who he is. This is his daughter, so holy shit. All right, um, I've shown this book a couple times. Um, I think I read probably three quarters of this book in like a couple days and then I freaked out because I realized it was almost done um, and then I just went really slow because I was sad for it to be over. Um, I'm gonna do a full review on this book because I love this book so much. It was just fantastic. Um, so I did finally sadly finish this. I also, uh, this the last month, April, I did finish Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas. Um, if you had, uh, seen, I think it was my April Books and Decks video, um, I said I was having some trouble, like, finishing this one because it got boring. Um, I did finally finish it, and I'm actually really glad that I stuck with it. Um, it got w a lot better. Um, it, it kind of, it starts out with this girl, um, and she lives with, like, her somewhat abusive aunt, who's a binder, who's trying to bind her magic so that she can't ever use it. Um, and it's just little, like, horror things, like, if she gets in trouble, um, the aunt makes her, like, embroider these little things that are, like, they have, like, a binder's book. Um, it's similar kind of to a Bible and it's all about like restriction and denying yourself everything and stuff. And she has to like embroider these little, I don't know, sentences from it. Um, and then when she's bad, it like sews into her skin instead and shit. So that part was really cool. Um, but then like summer break ended and she went to school and it just really turned into like, I, it, I understand now that it was, like, setting up the story, right, for later, um, but it was just really hard to get through, uh, like, teenage drama for me. It just, it was so not in line with how the first part of the book had been, and I was like, man, I don't think I want to fucking read this. Um, but I am glad that I pushed through. This book was over 500 pages, so, I mean, there was bound to be some things that I didn't like in it, but ultimately, um, I'm actually really glad that I finished this, um, and... Supposedly there's going to be a second one, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I apologize for saying that I did not like this. <laughs> All right. Um, right now, I'm working on Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. Um, I grabbed this book on a whim, and <sighs> my hatred for Holly Black books, who has written a lot of, um, like, fairy fiction, has made me feel like probably every single fairy book would be, like, cringy and I'd fucking hate it. But actually, I'm probably, I don't know, almost halfway through this. Um, and I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. Interesting characters. Um, the banter is actually, like, cute without being fucking corny like it is in a lot of books. It's just, I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. Um, and I'm actually glad that I didn't read this last month because it's, uh, it's all about the fae and May is always really a, a fairy month for me, so... <laughs> still working on that um so a book that i got um that i plan on starting this month uh is protection and reversal magic by jason miller um this is a witch's defense manual i don't really know um if i ever feel like i've been like magically or psychically attacked um, okay, I tend to, my defense strategy for the most part is this. I call it my, my Shane Madey. I, I Shane Madey it. Um, if you don't, if you don't know who Shane Madey is, if you've ever seen, uh, do you remember, uh, 
BuzzFeed Unsolved, or there was a BuzzFeed Unsolved Supernatural where Ryan Bergara and Shane Madey would uh, go on, like, these ghost hunts. Um, and the one guy, Ryan, is terrified. He believes in ghosts, all this stuff. But Shane does not. He um, goes the whole time. He's like, oh, everything's just the wind or whatever. He literally just does not give any chance for it to be real right i love them they have a new channel called watcher where they do uh ghost hunts ghost hunting stuff again um but basically my strategy is i shane Madey it and i literally just don't believe that someone could do something to me so hard that like <laughs> they can't you just rip the belief out from under it and it just doesn't work right that works right <laughs> so anyway um my my current approach to this aside um I just, I like the idea of prof protection magic. Um, I feel like I've never really, like, read anything um, official sort of on it or anything. I just kind of, like, do shit. I don't know. <laughs> so, I, we'll see if I like this. Um, I always feel weird when I see, like, other people's, like, spells or their little, like, not their spells, but, like, their little sayings and shit i because i would never do that myself i don't know we'll see we'll see how i feel about this book obviously i haven't even started it so um all right my last book uh that i'd like to start is i guess i'm a little close here this is called spinning straw into gold uh what fairy tales re reveal about the transformations in a woman's life so this was a find from um a thrift shop and it looked sort of interesting this was um published in 2005 so, it, I mean, I was still in high school at that point. I feel like there's probably going to be shit in here that I'm going to be like, whoa, what the fuck was that? Um, it kind of feels like it's in the same vein, maybe, as um, Women Who Run With the Wolves. I like the dissection of fairy tales and shit, so it, it looked interesting. Um, if you've read anything... It, if, if you've read this or heard anything about it, uh, let me know in the comments if it's any good. Um, I thought it kind of looked interesting, so I grabbed this bitch. All right, so that is it for my books. All right, now I'm on to Dex, and what I'm going to be working with is this. The first one is, uh, this is by Danielle Noel. Ocean Dreams Oracle. Um... So this, I have been working with this deck, um, which is kind of, okay, pause. This, I hate this card just because it says no regrets. And all I can think of is there is a photo out there in the wilds of the internet somewhere. And it's, I, I think the guy is from Russia. Whatever it is, it's, it's not an English speaking country. And he got, no, he tried to get no regrets tattooed on his arm, but they spelled regrets R-A-G- R-A-T-S or something like that and it, that is so funny and I think of it every fucking time that I see this goddamn card. I cannot I okay. So um this is I, I pulled this out um a week or so ago. I'm using this in some healing work that I'm doing. Um the the month of April has been fucking just one thing after another. It's been horrendous. Um but I have been finding these um useful for this. I knew that there was some reason that I had gotten this deck. <laughs> um, so this, I got this deck, uh, I got a used copy. I, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, I was kind of interested in this, um, when I saw the art being made for it, but ultimately I was like, it was like $60 for this deck. And I'm like, eh, I just don't know if I would use it. Um, like, thinking the artwork is kind of cool versus, like, using a deck are two totally different things. So, I said to myself, if I see a used copy, then I'll get it. Well, eventually then, I did see a used copy. It's like, ah, fuck. I'm like, well, when I get paid on Friday, um, if it's still there, if no one's gotten it, then it's meant for me. And it was still there on Friday, so it was meant for me. Um, I, I got this for like 30 bucks or something, so I'm telling you, keep your eyes peeled for those used decks. Um, so, yeah, this, the healing work stuff, it's not generally my thing, but like, sometimes this just gotta happen, okay? Some of these cards I like better than others. Like, I, I like... 
octopi octopuses but I, I don't really like them being red that's kind of <laughs> I'm picking on the weirdest shit I love this card though so this looks like drowned corpses I don't like this card I mean so if it was like about drowned corpses I feel like that would make sense but self-love and there's just like carcasses fucking waterlogged you know so I will be continuing to work with this one for a while even though it's just it kind of feels like it's a strange one sorry I realized I was mixing them up this was my this was my draw for the day I don't want to lose it <laughs> all right up next kind of a boring one I still have Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle I know that's not really how you say it it's not really Beltane but um I can't really seem to find a consensus on like how it actually is supposed to be said so I'm just gonna call it that because I actually don't give a fuck all right. No, oh, this is my little rose quartz heart. I had actually gotten this um, with the intention of like making a necklace out of it. Um, but this one's crooked. It's like bigger on this side than it is on this one. And so I was like, yeah, just I don't feel like I can, you know, sell that as a piece of jewelry. So I was like, Meh, I'll find something to do with it. And it's it's time came. Uh, it's time came. All right. Beltane Oracle. Um, I love the artwork in this deck. Um, since I'm a person who just tends to like darker colors better, like I love this card. Um, I think that the Seasons of the Witch, um, Yule and Samhain, I do like better than this one. Um, but that doesn't stop me from liking this one. It's good colors for the season. I still hate the little poems. I just, I wish they weren't there. <laughs> But some of these are just so interestingly illustrated. I draw this card all the time. It like weirdly stalks me and I don't fucking know what like the silk off one's flesh. I am the giver. I am your eternal means. I guess I could get out the guidebook, but I'm a lazy fuck. So yeah, Beltane's over, but like it's still Beltane season. You know, I'm not going to put this away just because of that. Um, for me, where I live, it, I'm just now starting to see, like, the first tiny little green weeds starting to poke up. Um, so, yeah, it, it fits seasonally. Oh, wow. Okay. So, this one will be staying out. I will warn you here, I feel like I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of Oracle decks this month. Sometimes I just get on like an oracle deck kick and that's that's just what it is, all right? Okay, the next deck that I have is um Divine Nature Oracle Deck and Book Set. Um I don't see the price on it. Uh I think it's like 26 US dollars or something. What the fuck? Why does it actually not say anywhere? Um, this one I was thinking about doing like a walkthrough or something of at some point, but maybe I won't. Um, this is one of those decks that I ignored because I didn't like the cover art. But the deck itself... Oh wait, it, it actually came with this little, uh, drawstring bag, with, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I think the only other deck, like mass market deck that I've seen that did that was, um, which is Wisdom. Okay, so this it's one of those fucking ones where the gilding like makes the cards clump together so i have to shuffle them face up um and they're kind of shiny oh shit i hope you can see them because i really love the artwork in this deck it's just so cool um and i actually got this with the specific intention of using it as what i'm calling a drumming deck um if you don't know, I recently got myself a frame drum that I have wanted for quite a while. Um, I've actually been kind of annoying with that. I've made people look at it like four times already on this channel. I've had it for like two months. Um, holy shit, I just got a uh, thing across my screen. Uh, breaking news. Uh, there's an active shooter somewhere, so somewhere in Atlanta. I mean, not near me, but welcome to the fucking United States. I forgot what I was fucking saying. Oh, drumming deck. Um, 
so I, I'm trying to like connect with my drum. Um, and so I, I drum daily and I don't always have like something to think about every day to drum about. Um, so I've just been drawing from this deck. Um, and then like, okay, this is kind of embarrassing to like admit this, but I take like the name of it and turn it into like a little beat that I do on my drum. Oh my god. This card specifically, when I saw it, I was like, that's it. I have to fucking have this deck. Um, but it's been working really well as my drumming deck. Um, it, it just seems to have that feeling. I'll just flip through all the cards here really quick. If you don't want to see them, then uh, you can click away or go forward on it. So, like, some of these are, like, uh, like, this is a real person. Um, so it's, like, digitally manipulated. Um, but some of it, I think, was actually, like, been painted. Like this. That's not a real person. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how all this artwork has been made. But I love the colors, um, since they're kind of muted. I really like this card. That's so fucking cool. I like even the borders on this. Um, on the lighter cards, it's got, uh, the darker brown. Um, and then on darker cards, it's got this, like, tan. It just, it feels very earthy. I just love it. I think this is, like, not a very good representation of what the cards in this deck look like. I don't know why they would have made that, um, the cover art for it, but... This, there's a Cultivate Divine Masculine. It's not really my favorite. Um, I, I don't know what I was doing there. There's also Court the Divine Feminine. This card kind of sticks out to me. It's kind of like cosmic and like suddenly purple when none of the other cards were like that. <sighs> There's one card I really fucking hate in here. This. First of all, ew. Second, like, what? It just, it looks so different than all the other cards in this deck. I don't know. Part of me wants to pull it out, but I don't know. I might yet. So I just, I think this deck is really cool. I haven't really seen many people talking about it. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I think it's cool that it came with a little bag. So I will continue to uh, work with this. You'll probably see this deck again in some other weird ass video that I make because I'm sure that that's just, that's just how I am. Also, uh, for the month of May, I'm going to be working with the Dreaming Way Tarot. Um, this was one of those decks I had gotten off my uh, second hand list. I colored the edges with an alcohol marker, I don't know, whatever the Michaels brand is, Artist Loft or something like that, and I got a pretty good match, if I do say so myself. Um, this is such a weird deck. Um, it just, it has this energy that I don't feel from any other deck. Um, and I kind of feel, I don't know, I don't know if I would use it in, like, winter, but... I feel like this is a springy and summery kind of deck. It's just so fucking weird. Like, these, the shoe situations are just so funny. So much of this deck is about, like, fabrics and different patterns. Like, where are this kid's shoes? What are you doing, child? I don't know. Something, this deck is so weird, but, like, endearing. And I, I pull it out a lot for a lot of stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite cards. I don't know why. <laughs> why is it so sad? Um, but I don't know that I have, okay, this is my least favorite card. Um, I don't know that I've, like, worked with it, you know? Um, I mean, I've certainly done readings with it and things, but I kind of just feel like it deserves a little more, um, than what I've been giving it, so... Yeah. I know a lot of people like this deck. 
I, I felt kind of weird about it. Like, I don't like decks with white in them, and this has a lot of it, even aside from the borders. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I'm making you watch me put this away, because otherwise, I will just, like, make a huge stack on a desk somewhere and just leave it for, like, days. Oops. Sorry, I'm trying to grab my shit. Um, for Hoxa that I pulled out last month is still here. I don't know how to live my life with a fucking band-aid on, man. This is not all of the cards, but I don't really care. Again, the Fey energy um, is strong in May. And this very much has, like, kind of an otherworldly fey feeling. And I just love that about it. This deck is so interesting. The cards are, like, busy, which is kind of abnormal for me to be so into a deck with such busy artwork. Um, but I feel like it's not just busy for the sake of being busy. Um, it's busy because there's just a lot of shit going on. And I look at these cards and I, like, see more shit every time. Like, I looked at this card a hundred times and I just now realize that there's, like, all the elements down underneath here. Like, am I... I really like how a lot of them are kind of underground and above it. It's just... This is such an interesting deck. Um, I can't wait for... There's, like, a ghosty kind of deck by the same creator, uh, MJ Cullinane. Um, I think it's called Unfinished Business and I'm really excited for that one. Um, cause I feel like it's gonna feel similar to this one. So I love this and I'm still keeping it out. Even though the cardstock is like slippery, I colored these edges. I don't ever want somebody to like see this, see one of my decks and be like, how come that is like that? Like I, I just fucking took a marker and colored it. Okay. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't come like that. I don't have like a special edition. All right. I got t two more, um, decks here. This one, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised to see. It's Tarot the Hidden Realm. It's got Fae. Uh, here's the Fortune Fairy, even. Uh, for some reason, I've done a lot of, like, path working with this card. I don't know, man. I feel like I know this guy. <laughs> um, the creator of this deck, or the artist, uh, Jeffries, Julie or Julia Jeffries, I think, um, is coming out with a new deck. I believe it comes out in December. Uh, the Witches. Fuck. I forgot what it's called, but there, she's got another deck coming out that I'm super excited for. I, I don't know that it's fairies, but I've seen some of the artwork. I don't know. In my heart, even if she didn't intend it to be fairies, it's, it's going to be fairies. So this is one of those decks that never really gets far um, from, like, my altar. I just grab it all the time for shit. Um, I feel like I've done some, like, work with it, um, that just made me feel like I know it really well in a way that I don't a lot of other decks. So, yeah, this one is kind of more, like, it never, never really goes away. I fucking hate this card. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be even more in my face, uh, this month and probably for several months. Fucking hate that magician. I colored these edges. Maybe not the best color choice, but it's the decision that I made. And then I've been pairing this with the last deck that I'll show you, which is the Old Ways Magic Oracle. Oracle by Naomi Kornick. Um, this is uh, an indie deck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, that's not even all the cards, but this, it, it's very, like, Celtic based. The artwork is fucking stunning. It, it pairs so well with Terror of the Hidden Realm. Um, it g pairs really well with, um, fuck. Not Druidcraft. What's what's the other one? By the same artist, though. Wildwood. It just has something so, like... It just has this, like, gravity to it that I feel like a lot of times Oracle decks don't really have. 
So I love like just the life and the the flora and fauna of all of this, the plants, the animals, just it, everything is so bursting with life <laughs> without like feeling overwhelming to me. So yeah, I will also be working with this deck. Little walrus teeth guy, I don't know. So, um, this was all the stuff that I'm going to be working with, uh, through the month of May. Thanks for watching. Bye.